Does your chest room look like this? Just a hallway full of chest. Need a change? Stick around and I'll show you the four chest room styles that I came up with. Hey you guys, how's it going? This is Brown Ball coming at you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And as you can see behind me, I've come up with four different chest room ideas and they include 60 double chest or the equivalent of 60 double chest. And as you can kind of see, they're really ugly from the outside. So a disclaimer before we get into these chest rooms, all of these rooms either need to be under the ground or in a big building. But the good news is they are all starter friendly so that you can make them pretty quick in your world. So let's hop into the first one. Okay, the first one that we're going to look at today is a very earthy feeling the colors are very earth tone. We've got oak logs, we've got planks, we've got cobblestone, and we have the bushes in here. It feels very earthy. And I think this style is going to go with a lot of people's build styles. You know, castle, medieval, that type of stuff. This style fits in very well with all of those styles. And personally, this is my favorite build style. But it is one that is very popular. But like I said, this one... I really enjoy this one. This one actually might be my favorite just because this is my favorite build style. I just like the colors and everything. I like how it all fits together. And so I really enjoy this one. Let's get into it and look at it a little bit more. And I will show you exactly everything that I like about this. So I like all of the, in our corners here, I like our, I don't know what you would call flower pots or flower displays here. You know, there's only a flower in each one, but we have the bushes and they are kind of identical. You know, we did, I just tried to make sure that the two was on, not on the same side. That's what I did here. If you kind of want to see how I broke it up, see the two is on this side and you go over, there's the, it meets the one. It doesn't meet the two. And then there's the two, one, two, one, two, one. So kind of helps break it up where it doesn't look just super similar, you know, but it is, it is. And then, but these are my favorite flowers, the blue and the white flowers. They're my favorite flowers in the game. And so I like the corners and what we did with the greenery here, and especially down here. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. I love the roof, what we did with the roof here. We have these arching logs here and how we got this effect is we just you know you place your logs but to if you just place the logs it would look pretty rough so we did the upside down stairs and the trap doors and that just kind of helps curve that into that and just kind of gives you a little bit more detail a little bit more depth to your build and up here on the roof we did the planks on the top half so you get this nice little break and these nice little beams sticking out and it just i just think it's great the lanterns they're perfect lighting for what we did back here, we've lit up back there with glowstone. Um, you could do jack-o'-lanterns. Like I said, we wanted to keep these pretty starter-friendly, um, but you can. We put glowstone back there, but you can do a jack-o'-lantern if you want. You don't. You're not really going to see it, or even could you put us put a torch down there just to light up behind those areas? We just did it in the big areas. We've got 16 chests on each side, and then 14 chests right there. And then we have 14 more down there on the bottom. Um, for the balcony railing, we used uh, cobblestone walls, the oak fence gate, and an and oak fence. And so basically when you do that, when you put the gate on a wall, it lowers the gate and then you try to connect it to the fence. And it, it kind of just creates this nice shape here where it's not all the same. It just kind of an interesting looking railing and I really like how it turned out. And of course we layered it with upside down, that's upside down cobblestone stairs around that so let's move down to the bottom one more thing though you can see on this top part we use spruce for the whole thing and down here we broke it up with oak and birch planks and of course the walls are stripped birch walls and i just think that was a nice color to go with down here i really like down here one thing i will say when you're placing this if you are going to make this style and you're going to use double tall flowers so if you put like it just depends on your world and where you're placing your flowers if we were to put a rose bush in there the rose bush would stick out of our planter here that is spruce doors trap doors it would stick out so it wouldn't look realistic. So just kind of, that's why these are roses and that's a bush. So, because the roses stuck out right there. So, you know, just something to, you know, keep in mind. And just remember, you can't put a full block over any any chest. So when you're doing that, that's actually, um, 
spruce stairs, upside down stairs there too, or planks. I know, you know, there's probably some planks in there too, so that you can open your chest. And the two chests next to the stairs here that I like just kind of tucked away, and a couple more double tall flowers. And we just kind of did that just to add a little bit more, you know, just just to add a little bit more that you can look at. I love the kind of the braces for these logs here with the spruce stairs. And yeah, that is going to wrap it up. The crafting bench right here on the table so you can do some quick crafting if you need it. But like I said, this style, I, it fits so many people's build styles that I think this one is going to be very popular. And again, it can go underground. I feel like this could be a very, uh, you know, an underground base. This could be, this fits in very well with a style that I would want to build underground, kind of an earthy feel underground. But I really, really love this one and i hope you guys do too let's move on to the next one okay for our next one this is another one that i'm just so happy with how it turned out and obviously as you can see it is an egyptian style build and there is so much to cover in this one here there is so many things intricate little things that we did in this one to just kind of help make it pop and make it stand out and help it make it feel different it feels what it what we eventually made it feel like is a tomb kind of like underneath the pyramid so i could envision this being in a pyramid build again it can be underneath the ground but i i envision this being inside a pyramid so yeah let's get into this one because there's so much to cover and so much i want to show you uh the detail that goes into this tomb style storage room egyptian tomb style storage room so as first you can see all of the chests there are 60 chests all of our rooms they're gonna have 60 chests double chests in them or the equivalent of 60 double chests you'll see the one we we're talking about there when i say the equivalent but this one has 60 double chests and i love how they're all tucked away in kind of these little tomb areas here and how we accomplish the safe is just basically upside down stairs and we pushed what i really love is that we did three tall here and two tall in the middle and then another three tall and so it just kind of breaks it up so it's not not the same it's not it's not all the same it does repeat it is a repeating pattern throughout but it's not all the same when you're just looking at one wall and we pushed the three tall back one block as you can see here, the two is up forward at one block versus the three. And we left it dark in there because, like I said, it kind of has a tomb feel to it. And so that's why we could get away with torches for our lighting. For the most part, we did do some sea pickles in the flooring, which we're going to look at here in just a second. But the torch lighting goes well. You're in a tomb, and so it goes well. One thing that I really love is the water feature. I don't know if it's necessary in a tomb. I don't know if greenery would be growing in a tomb, but we put it in here because I think it was just a much, a nice added detail. When I, when I think of Egyptian and I looked at reference pictures, you know, waterways and, 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 and nice water features are things that they had in their palaces and stuff. And so we put it here in the midst of of these pillars and that's another thing when you think of egyptian culture and look at it you have pillars they, they that was their style they built with pillars and so we have a full block pillar here right with our up down upside down stairs you know finishing up the top and then we kind of have these small pillars here with um some sandstone walls in the middle and of course the chiseled sandstone um, blocks to kind of decorate it out on the sides here we kind of did also something when you're thinking about egyptian style builds is sculptures they 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 were they were big for sculptures and so we just kind of made um some small sculptures here um be what you may maybe it's just a guy holding a couple of things you know you just kind of have to use your imagination a little bit but i'm really happy with how just those small little sculptures came out um just to make something and we use jungle uh log strip log and jungle uh fence just to add another color um in here that was the challenging thing with this is that you're going you have so much you've got to build it out of sandstone um you know in sand blocks that it's all one color and so you try to bring as much color as you can when when you can do it that's it hints forth like that's why the water feature is so nice because it brings a lot of color that is needed and what we did down here was so interesting i skipped this i'm sorry um we did um tilled land down there um so underneath all of those stairs is actually a water um source and so then you could till the land and let it turn dark and i think that is a beautiful texture for under the water and of course you have to have some places we did some uh underwater vegetation there 
and then the sea pickles for lights. Here, this is just, I just really love how this turned out. Just the water, um, I don't know, something about Egyptian, just it feels magical, it feels appropriate. And so we have this nice water feature um, in the floor, kind of zigzagging through. And then we poked in some sea pickles for lighting in here, here and there, and I think I love it. It just turned out so great. Up here, we just kind of added a little detail in the wall, just poked some, used some stairs there, and put some uh, dark oak back behind there, just to add another color. On the back side here, this is why this is, I mean, this is, I just made this so it would close off because if it's just the outside world, it kind of ruined the immersion of the world. But we just kind of did an inset with the, the stairs and then put the sandstone um, back there just to just to add a little detail to the backside wall here. And finally, wrapping it up here, one last thing. What is a Egyptian tomb without a sarcophagus? And so you have these colors. And also, I forgot to mention these colors, but you have these colors, and that is, is concrete. And I don't feel like this is too hard to get for starters. I feel like you can do concrete, and you the flowers, they produce the dye now. And so you can make this happen pretty easy. So I was comfortable with saying this is safe starter. But I really feel like this blue and yellow, the cyan and the yellow, are perfect they feel very Egyptian to me and so we have a we have a um, uh, we have a coffin here or a sarcophagus not a coffin a sarcophagus um, we have the feet sticking up here and the kind of the body and then you got the head with the chiseled uh, the chiseled sandstone there so yeah that's the that's the sarcophagus here so yeah I am real happy with how this one turned out we even added a little detail in the roof with some upside down stairs just to add a little bit more um, Detail, just anywhere that you can get detail in, and it, it works out good. But this one, I really love this one. It's a, it's an interesting build style. And like I said, it could definitely, I could see it sitting underneath um, a pyramid. If you built a pyramid over the top, or it can be underground, which whichever. It is a tomb, but I really, really love this one. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, for our next storage room, there is a lot, a lot to say about this one. We have a lot to cover in this one. This one is a very modern, futuristic feeling storage room, and I am absolutely thrilled with how this one turned out. This was the one that I started to work on. I wanted to build this style, and I almost gave up in the beginning because it just wasn't working out and then i looked at some reference images and i just i started to fall in love with how this was shaping up and so i'm very excited to get in this one and show you what we've done and so basically all right we have a lobby here right this one's different than the other ones the other ones were kind of all one room this one we break up into hallways but i think it worked out so great but we come in here and we have this nice water feature lighting up with sea pickles here and you just have water dropping down and i just i love it instantly as you walk in here i just love the feel with the bamboo um growing here and the water and it just feels very futuristic modern it just i feel like i'm in a, a futuristic office right now uh, we just kind of did uh, some interesting shapes here and actually what is lighting up in there is sea pickles you can get some different lighting if you want but i just thought sea pickles we just use sea pickles they're easy to get we kept it starter friendly and all we did was just swap these and so this design is over here in this corner but then what you did what we did is just flip it right and so the the big block is down on the bottom and then you have your smaller uh, glass panes up there and then just a little vegetation up there just to continue the greenery through so yeah that is our lobby and that is the starting area of our storage and what we come up with i just love it i love how the storage is different shapes it's not just you know one two three one two three one two three on top of each other we've got this nice shape and i feel like this just really made this build this is what got me excited for this build was looking at um some reference images and seeing kind of some setback um walls and i thought man i could put chest in there in that shape and it just really made it for me uh, and then we just layered it with cyan carpet along here and of course this is all white concrete again i feel like that is very all of these blocks are concrete other than these slabs okay they are these are quartz and those are quartz stairs, but what I think you could do is get away is birch for your starter and then eventually swap them out for um, 
quartz slabs. Um, I had to put it in here just so it would fit right and look perfect and look look the way I wanted it to. But I think you could get away with birch and it would look, it would complement kind of the colors that you've got going here. So for the starters, use birch for these stairs and these detail blocks that we have here. This idea here, I don't know if you see it, but I love it. It is kind of like a window and you're looking out onto uh, a city and I've got this idea I didn't come up with this idea on my own but I love that I was able to implement it into this build I got this idea for idea from B00100 um, he made a bedroom for Corrales if you watch uh, Hermitcraft I'm gonna throw a reference image on the screen right now of what he did he made it in a bedroom and I just I loved it so much and I was glad that I remembered it and was able to institute it into this build. Um, above here, and we did it on both sides actually. So both sides are the city, um, you can, the city uh, skylines, like you're looking out at buildings. So that's what you're looking at here is these are supposed to be buildings with kind of advertisements on it and it's got the lights to let the planes know um, that you're going in, in there. And it's just black concrete to kind of black out the windows to make it look like it's nighttime and I just love it and those are actually just other concrete in the black just to kind of add some more depth as far as like more buildings and stuff and I love it I just love it I was so glad I got to implement it into this build but all credit goes to B00 for coming up with that idea and I just I, I'm thrilled with it again in here we did different shapes we just flopped these shapes this time not not a sink neither one of the hallways are the same shape hopefully I said that right uh, no hallway is the same shape. It is either flipped or even, you know, each section of the hallway, the shape is different. And then it just flips one way on the other side. So this is kind of the U shape is going down here and the U shape is going up inside here. See, I used birch planks there. Um, for the lighting in there, it is just sea pickles. As you can see, you can see the, you can see the water there. It is sea pickles. Um, in there and so that is I, I wanted to keep it as starter friendly as i as i could again i used i use quartz here swap, swap it out for birch but sea pickles there i think are an easy source of lighting and it lights up what needs to be lit up in there and then you could eventually swap it out again you could take this style once you've got advanced further in the game in rods sea lanterns i mean there's lots of things that you could do to make this even better but i just wanted to keep it as starter friendly as i could and speaking of starter friendly it's just jack-o-lanterns up there underneath those trap doors so that's kind of what that is and then in here we've got this different shape um some of these you know you can you can access them it, you know it just kind of takes a little bit of of you know positioning yourself in the right way to access them but we did this kind of l shape and then a half you know c shape with a little jut out you know and the same thing over here just flopped it with the cyan carpet being where we can place it here this thing is a nice added detail and this is just kind of an interesting sculpture and just like any sculpture if you look at it you can see the face right i'll give you two seconds five seconds to look at it to identify the face and here it is we've got the mouth we've got the eyes and then his derpy nose right here but that's okay it's just it's just meant to be some kind of shape some kind of skull skull uh, <laughs> a sculpture a statue type thing that's here with a water feature and we also did some um, lighting back there just to light it up but i think it's a I think it's nice i didn't want to do that on all three you could obviously if you really love this which i do and i would be okay with having all three but i really wanted to break it up with something on the last one have something different but if you wanted to do the city skyline on all three that would be okay and i like i said i would be okay with that but i wanted to break it up kind of show you a different option that you could put at the end of your hallways and then of course white concrete and then just kind of cyan con stained concrete uh just kind of shaping out the room just adding a little bit more color nothing fancy going on with the roof it's all white um oh no we have the cyan there and then we just outlined our doors with cyan paint uh paints and uh, just to add a little bit more to it so yeah I, I'm really happy. I know I'm happy with all of them. That, kind of, that that I am happy with all of them. But this one was the most challenging. This was the one that I almost gave up on. And I'm super happy that I was able to come uh, up with something that I am just in love with. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Okay, for our final storage room, as you can see, we have ourselves a pirate treasure cave or i hope you can see that this is a pirate treasure cave that is what we're going for here and i am so happy with this one this one is so immersive 
compared to the other ones. This one just pulls me in. This one just tells a story. We're in a pirate cove. This is a pirate treasure hideout place. This is where they hide the treasure. This one just kind of tells a story for me, and I am really happy with how this one turned out. Um, obviously, this is going. This is one that is going to be very particular to a world if you're building a pirate area or you know a Vi maybe even a Viking area, but. If you just want a pirate treasure cave in your world, I can understand for your storage room. I can totally get that. I would love to have this in my world as my storage room. It's a little messy, but it will do. So let's get into it. Like I said, there's a lot of detail that we need to get into for this one. To start off with, let's talk about the entrance. So we have the waterfall, hidden waterfall entrance. What pirate treasure cave is the entrance not hidden behind a waterfall? I mean, come on. So we did that. Um, some tips that I would say don't have the water coming on the inside I had that to begin with and I just didn't like the look of it And then I just had it flowing on the outside and I thought that is it That's the look I want to go for and so I was happy with that whenever I put it on the outside instead of the inside um, I had it on both sides to begin with but no water on the inside is good is a good look I think Another good look, don't just make a rectangle, kind of add a little shape, kind of like a crack in the wall there behind the waterfall. I think that is um, kind of what helps your entrance too. Um, the water, uh, basically how we come up with the shape is I just made a circle and I wanted some little streams of water going off in di different directions. And so that is how we come up with that. I just kind of made a circle in wool with the little jut outs and that just kind of helps shape the rest of it with the land filling in the rest of the places. Um, our water, we added a lot. Uh, you can see we added a lot of vegetation. Some kelp, some seagrass, uh, co uh, coral, and sea pickles for lighting. A lot of this is lit up by sea pickles. And then, of course, we got tropical fish. I, I fish. I don't know if they would be in a cave, but I think they need to be in this cave. And I, I like seeing them swimming around, even though they all cluster up like that. Maybe less... Um, tropical fish need to be in here but i'm real happy with how the water turns out and the the coral is a much needed even the seagrass and the kelp are a much needed color change for a very dull um color scheme you know we've got gray and we've got yellow for our color scheme and so i think the water putting the color in the water just really helps this build and set it off moving up to the land oh and you can't forget the stepping stones on how you get in here you could kind of build a bridge with out of i was thinking bridges small bridges out of the campfires you know that style that you can do but i really like the stepping stone feel in here i think that's uh, that's what i was happy with and so that's what we went with for the land it's just sand and smooth sandstone and some stone kind of we added you know kind of built it up sand in here and then we built up some rocks um, jutting up you got some rocks you know that kind of jut up high or just just low and basically just kind of help to make the land look interesting you're not gonna have a lot of vegetation growing uh, in a cave and so I put the dead bushes in here because um, I felt like you know what those would represent best what would be in a cave if you want to put I know Minecraft 1.17 we're gonna have the lush caves if you want to put greenery in here go right ahead I think that would be a-okay if that's okay with you um, but for me I went ahead and did the dead bushes and I think it I think it did okay we threw the stone buttons around the rocks to just kind of add a little bit more variance um, for our rock and use slabs use stairs make your rocks interesting there uh, moving up to the cave walls, um, I can't we just come up with an interesting shape. You know, obviously this feels very open, and I like it, but it does have a nice shape to it. You know, kind of juts in here, juts out back there, um, kind of loops around. You know, kind of interesting shape going up to the ceiling. Um, but yeah, just kind of make yourself. You'll fill it out as you go. Just kind of make an interesting shape. Just kind of work out your shape, and it it'll fill in. Trust me, it'll fill in as you go as you start to build this. Um, for the walls, we did sign some kind of cut-ins. Um, you know, just kind of set one back and then kind of filled it in with a different stone texture and a site for back there. And then for these these little for these little things here. Um, it's slabs and stairs that kind of make this interesting state, uh, shape for the stone there. And so you kind of get those nice little jut-ins that just kind of break up a flat wall. And as you go up, you know, you don't want a flat wall, just a corner, you know, kind of jut in here and jut in here. And then you use your stairs to kind of help shape that out. I love these little, I love these little 
coves or you know little canals that go back and just kind of it kind of feels like they just go on to another room or onto something else you know that the water just keeps going and i love that feel um we broke up the walls also with the texture we have cobblestone we have stone we have andesite we have gravel so use your stone textures use them mix them in together and it's going to work out good for you the ceiling um obviously we did different shapes going up it's not just a flat ceiling and i think i mean if you look at a cave you're gonna find this and it, it helps the ceiling it's dark we didn't put any lighting up there because that's kind of how a cave works um and so i'm really happy with the shape of the whole i'm really just happy with the shape of the whole cave how the cave came together and then of course we've got our uh, stalactites or stalagmites. Um, I should have looked it up before I started talking about them. Um, coming down, and we just use stairs and wall, insight wall there for our points, and you know cobblestone and insight blocks and regular stone blocks to kind of, you know, to fill those out. I honestly think there's no stone. I think it's all andesite or cobblestone just to kind of help them set them apart. I did think it needed a little greenery in here, so I did some vines and um, regular vines and also um, custom vines with the bushes. Um, the regular vines, you got to be careful where you place them. See, I've, obviously I placed a single block here so that it would just grow in one spot because the vines could kind of get carried away. They can start growing at different places that you don't want them, and it can easily become too much. And so I think just kind of here and there, uh, be careful where you place them and it's going to work out good for the treasure chest there is not 60 treasure chest in this room or double double uh, uh chest in this room um i had 60 double chest in this room to begin with and it just looked blah so i had to swap it up with some barrels but there is 60 double chest uh worth of storage in here okay um, a little bit more things before we wrap up. We've got some carpet here, some yellow carpet, kind of as representing gold. Again, as you play and you get gold, you could do some uh, gold uh, uh, pressure plates or gold buttons. Um, you know, you could do gold blocks, diamond blocks. You know, you can you could change it up and make your pirate wealth look a little bit more. And we threw little buttons for stones everywhere. And then, of course, our lighting, our little tiki torches. They are perfect for this style. And so, yeah, this is my pirate. Uh, treasure cave storage room idea and i like i said it is super immersive for me and i hope that you guys enjoyed this one as I close out this video, I just want to quickly go back through and show you all of the rooms with the shaders on because I know that shaders just make Minecraft look that much better. If you found any inspiration from these builds today or you want to copy these builds into your world or just take the um, elements of these builds into your world, I'm going to make a world download available in the description so that you can download this world and explore each of these storage rooms for yourself so you can really kind of get into them and see how they were built. Um, or you can you can implement like I said ideas from them you know just take inspiration from them that way you can get your hands on these builds um, in your own Minecraft world that you can explore if you like the video if you found inspiration from these builds help me out by throwing a like on the video I'd super appreciate it and if you're new to the channel would you consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on notifications to see more content that I put out Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.